Hi guys, how are you doing and welcome back. If you want to deploy VMware VCF in a lab or demo environment and you have limited resources, you have limited CPU or limited memory, how are you going to do that? Well, we know that in a production environment, VMware VCF will deploy three NSX nodes. We don't want that and we don't need that basically in a demo environment. We can get by by deploying only one NSX node. That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. We will change some configuration files and tell Cloud Builder to only deploy one NSX node and that's fine because we will have the full experience, still have the full experience of VMware VCF and that's exactly what we need in a lab environment only for demo purposes. Let's get into it. And this is the spreadsheet we will be using as a base to generate that JSON. As you can see here, this is the same spreadsheet I will be using, I was using actually to, to deploy my normal, my production VCF. This is also the same for you guys. And I still have node through entry in there. And that's the way I will leave it because I will do the generation of the JSON file on the Cloud Builder appliance itself. So just fill in your deployment sheet configure the IP address and the name, etc., in that deployment sheet for node 2 and 3 as well. And the next step is to grab WinSCP. In my case, WinSCP or any other utility will work because we need to copy this file over to my Cloud Builder appliance. Let me connect real quickly to my Cloud Builder appliance. This is the admin account. There we are. Let's see where I'm in. I'm in the slash home slash admin folder. This is the same slash home slash admin folder I'm connected to using WinSCP. Now I need to copy over this Excel sheet in there. This spreadsheet is going to be copied over in there. And let me check a, with a directory listing if it's in there. Yes, that's there. Okay. so. The first step is copying over that spreadsheet to that Cloud Builder appliance. The next step is we need to give ourselves pseudo permissions. So I will do that now. There we are. And the next step is we need a utility which is sitting in this directory on the Cloud Builder appliance in order to generate that json file it will grab the spreadsheet i uploaded in this location this is the spreadsheet i'm uploaded using WinSCP, as you can see here and it will use that spreadsheet to generate the json file and the json file the name of that json file will be vcf 511 limited this is the name i choose of course so this is the first command we need to execute i will leave all the commands in my in the description of the video so you can have it or you can look it up in my blog so i will copy over this command and paste it over and let it generate that json file it's asking me if i'm sure if i want to replace that file because i have done some testing earlier on uh, i already generated that json file here i will say yes just override it let it finish once it's finished, we need to copy over that JSON file now. Because I am in the, I'm connected with WinSCP to that Cloud Builder appliance. I'm in my home slash admin directory. I want to copy this for that JSON file over in this directory so I can then download it uh, quickly to my desktop. So the next step is to copy over that file. I've created my copy command here. Let me copy and paste that real quick in that console. And now if I go back to WinSCP, if I refresh this, I will see a JSON file here. This is the JSON file we will be using in the Cloud Builder user interface. So if you saw my earlier video, I will leave the link uh, for uh, of that video in the description below, how to upload that spreadsheet in cloud builder so the deployment can start but instead of uploading this excel a spreadsheet an excel sheet we will be uploading a json file because cloud builder also accepts json files for deployment so the first step is let's download this json file 
Now this JSON file has been downloaded and I can now edit it. So to do that, let's go back to Notepad++ and let's open up the JSON. Here we are. So scroll down to the section where you see the NSXT spec. This is the part I'm talking about. This is the NSXT spec and as you can see here, it will deploy three nodes. What we will do is we will delete two of those nodes. Make sure that you get the syntax correct here because don't leave any commas or other characters in here. It will break that JSON config. So this is the part that you need to delete. I will leave this in the comment section of the video. I'll leave it on my blog so you can just copy over and paste it if you need to. Make sure that you start deleting at this character and don't forget the comma in there. The nice thing with uh, Notepad++ is it is recognizing this JSON file and um, well, if there would be errors here, it will um, it will tell me, it will show me, and then I can correct it, of course. But this is the correct syntax to only deploy one NSX node using Cloud Builder. So after you've deleted those two nodes, just save this file, and the next step now is to upload it to the Cloud Builder. And I already have a video created on how to upload this file to Cloud Builder or upload a configuration file to Cloud Builder and let it work out and let it deploy your VCF environment. It's nothing from this point on it, that those steps are not different. That video can be found in the descriptions of this video, of course, or in my on my blog post on my website. You can find that. So from this point on, it's pretty straightforward. Go back to Cloud Builder, log into the interface. Uh, it will ask you your deployment file. Now your deployment file is this JSON file. You need to upload it instead of that spreadsheet. If I go back real quick to my Cloud Builder, I can show you how the deployment went according uh, or using this file. So this is the Cloud Builder appliance I was using to deploy this uh, JSON file. It started at 5.50 p.m. and ended at 7.25 p.m. That's a lot less... Uh, time to deploy this environment only using one NSX node. And if I go to my vCenter, I can see it has deployed only the NSX 01A. That's the one node I specified in the JSON configuration. So that is perfectly fine. If I go to the NSX uh, manager, I can see that there is one NSX management node. Of course, it recommends me to have a cluster containing three nodes. Uh, and this is always something you should do for a production environment but this is a demo environment right i have limited resources this is perfectly fine it will still allow me to see all the options and configuration things that are needed for vcf so this is perfectly fine to have it up and running and we can see that cloud builder is finishing up also a lot faster if you only deploy one node and that's how you set up VMware VCF with only one NSX node for demo purposes, for a proof of concept, or for a lab environment. It will limit the amount of resources you need, but still give you every feature there is to try out VMware VCF or test something uh, in your environment. So it's a pretty straightforward process once you have changed that spreadsheet to a JSON adjusted that JSON, uploaded it to the Cloud Builder, and now Cloud Builder will use that JSON to do the complete deployment and deploy it using OneNote only. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons below. It will help out my channel a lot. And of course, if you have comments, leave it in the comment section below. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. So take care and see you next time. Bye.